BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts. Light it up, light it up, oh yeah. Sword the Illuminatus trilogy play. Sword Camden Roundhouse. Sword Ken Campbell. Drummond, that stage toilet looks wonderful. It makes me want to use it. <sighs> Everything okay? <sighs> Bolting it down like it's done you harm. I'm fine. Good. Rehearsal start at ten. I want all the sets ready. Sod off. Sod off? Hey, well, you got the hump. Okay, Ken. Yeah, yes, yes, I have. I worked like a dog to create these sets back in Liverpool for a pittance, and the play was a big success, yet now you've come to London, you're paying me for only one week to put up the set. Yeah, well, no, no, the thing is, Drummond, it's all about the reality of the commercial theatre. So many help to develop the work, it's inevitable that some people don't get paid, or the show simply could not go on. But those people are rewarded with something much more valuable than money. And what's that then? Being part of something fabulous, something epic. <sighs> hey, well, commercial theatre is not about the money. Commercial is about the money. That's what commercial means. That's too tight. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, no, you screw the toilet down too tight. <sighs> You'll crack the porcelain. Shit. Told you. Hey, I'm off for some moral dates. Hurry back. How to burn a million quid. Rule five. Know when to walk away. Walk away was exactly what Bill did from me and the Illuminatus trilogy play. All right, mate. Cheers. Now, that's 15-year-old Jimmy Corty holding the door open as Bill exits the Camden Roundhouse. Worth seeing. The sets are all right. That really happened. Then Bill headed to the hardware shop but just kept on going into Euston Station and the first train back to Liverpool. <coughs> Perhaps if he'd returned, Bill and Jimmy would have struck up a friendship and gone down a different reality tunnel instead of the one that finds them 20 years later flying to the Isle of Jura with a million in cash and Bill trying to palm off his childhood friend from South Africa. But the operation costs only 100 pounds. Take it from the 1 million pounds. This is what Jesus would do. Uh, the thing is, uh, uh, burning 999,900 pounds is not the same gesture as burning 1 million pounds. Uh, it doesn't have the same clout at a semiotic level. I'm coming across as a bit of a twat. You used to be such a kind hearted boy, William. Remember that day with the black member when you offered me your pocket money? What changed? OK, Bunny Swat, I'll send you the money outside of the million. Call me next week and I'll arrange a transfer. Oh, thank you so much. You've saved my sight. You're welcome. Happy to help. Just think of what you could do with that million. You could save the eyesight of 10,000 children. Yeah, I need to say goodbye now. Nice to hear from you. That was kind of you, mate. There she blows, chaps. <gasps> Durable! We made it, Jimmy! It's so peaceful. It's a beautiful place. Is that an ancient burial mound? Could be. There were people here in Neolithic times. Hey, remember when you pillocks buried the Brit Award? <coughs> there. That deep enough? Yeah. Shall we say a few words? Uh, sure. Dear God of Pop, Thank you for KLM. It was good while it lasted, especially what time is love. My favourite was Kylie said to Jason. We now consign thee to a better place. Here at Stonehenge amongst early Britons. Right. So, no more KLF. What are you going to do now? You idiots don't know how to do how else. <laughs> Says you. Hey, you can always start spending your dosh. That'll keep you busy. Chantish, your accountant says you've got over a million. You've been snooping? Yeah, I need to know if I'm going to get paid. We could use the money to get Stonehenge sorted. Look at it. It's half finished. Let's hire a helicopter to neaten up the stones. Yeah, you can't mess about with Stonehenge. Look at Beanfields. Cops will bash your head in. Stop fetishising oh. the past. Oh, I love fetish stuff, me. 
Get us a pilot, Gimpo. Here's the mobile. The reception's better near the back. Bloody mad, you two. Is it epic enough? I'm not really into architecture. How about soup kitchens? There already are soup kitchens. Why are you so obsessed with soup? It still feels too small. We could stop the war in Yugoslavia. Too big. The Illuminati got that sewn up. I know. What? What did we do before the music industry? Signed on. We were artists. We made art. Yeah, and that's riddled with the Illuminati. Such elitist galleries, super rich moving money around, controlling taste, let's use the money to make art that really messes with those bastards. That's it. Art for money. But what idea? That's it. Literally, art made out of money. Oh, yes. Subversive. Gimpo? I found a pilot. It's going to cost you 50 grand. No, forget that. Get Jack Deesh on the phone. Hello? Yeah, Jimmy wants a word here. Hi, Jack Deesh. Oh, hello, Mr Corti. I was wondering if you'd had the chance to review your end-of-year account. I haven't got time for that now. We need you to withdraw a million pounds cash. So they made a piece of art they were sure would shake up the art world. I and mean, it needed shaking up and all, because according to Memo 546 of the Illuminatus trilogy... The Illuminati have controlled the art world since the 17th century, when it realised artists would work themselves to death and die in poverty, but their work live on and increase in value. Although the Illuminati control the art world, they are actually quite bad at art. I mean, look at the pyramid with an eye in it. That sucks. What did they reject at that design meeting? A circle with a foot in it? A, a box with an ear? Oblong with a knob? Bill and Jimmy take their masterpiece to offer to Nicholas Sorota, director of the Tate Gallery, with the intention of doing to art what they did to music. I feel so at home here. The great thing about the art world is you can engage with complex intellectual ideas. It'll be like Marcel Duchamp, Andy Warhol, Cindy Sherman. Change what art can be. Change society. Change the world. Ah, hello, gentlemen. Mr Sorota. Uh, please, please, uh, do come in. I mean, is, is the work in the suitcase or, or is it the suitcase itself? It's in the suitcase. Just a sec. Here it is. I'll just... No, 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 not, not, not on that table, please, please. That's Bauhaus. Um, put it over there, please. Oh, oh, one of the notes has come off. Hang on. That was called Nailed to the Wall. Huh. And ambiguous. And, uh, and that's real money. A million pounds. Nailed to a board. MDF. Working with the wood like carpenters. Like Jesus. Powerful, isn't it? It's as good as any Turner Prize, and you can have it for 750k. Mm. What college did you attend? Goldsmiths? Northampton Tech. Well, the first year. I'm self-taught. He designed, he designed an Athena poster for The Hobbit. So? What do you think? Well, an artist must have a, a very, very good backstory. We were the KLF, the biggest selling singles act in the world in 1991. Yes, but where does this fit with the history of contemporary art? It's a completely original comment on the commodification of art. And you can exhibit the work for free as long as you don't deconstruct or sell it until the year 2000. We've drawn off a contract. Uh huh. Well? It is tempting, uh, but no. What do you Why? mean? Well, I'm sorry, gentlemen, but the, but the thing is, in my view, it's not of sufficient quality in terms of accomplishment, innovation or originality of thought to warrant preservation in the National Collection. But don't you need money for a new gallery? We're giving you a million pounds for 750k. You make 250 instantly. Well, yes, yes, there is that, but I, I won't be bought into endorsing this, I'm afraid. The art world won't be fooled like all the teeny boppers that buy your pop. Uh, you need to earn your stripes. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, I am very busy with the Turner Prize. So, no, watch the Bauhaus! <laughs> Oops! Butterfingers. Same to you, you stuck-up prick. How dare he? What gives him the right to be the arbiter of taste? He spoke to us like we were idiots. Just because we didn't go to some posh art school. He's the idiot. But I don't know what to do now. Maybe we are too stupid to be real artists. Don't say that. 
great art is never accepted by the establishment at the time. It's only looking back people get it. The Turner Prize is just the same old bullshit as the Brit Awards. It's just capitalism controlling public opinion and choking out rebellion. You're right. We need to challenge this cultural hegemony. And we can. We've still got the money. Uh, we can still do some damage. Yeah, if we haven't got the cachet, at least we've got the cash, hey? <laughs> Kilo Lima Foxtrot 23 seeking permission to land. Over. We have low level fog over the airfield. Advise circling. Low on fuel. Over. Copy. We'll find a window ASAP. Eh? Hey, we're only low on fuel? The storm sucked up quite a lot. We should be okay, though. That needle's on zero. What? Don't worry. The fuel gauge is always overcautious. There's loads more in the tank. Usually. Uh, usually? What, what, what do you mean, usually? Don't panic. We need to lighten the load. <laughs> Sorry. Here, yeah, what if we all sit out the window? It won't be enough. Some of that luggage needs to go. That red case. That's mine. I bought new jumpers. Yeah, well, we can't throw mine out. It's got me medals in it. Mine is all my favourite books. They've all got to go, chaps. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Victoria Cross for bravery. Oh, goodbye, Aaron Sweaters. Oh, goodbye, collected works of Robert Louis Stevenson. Goodbye, the Wasp Factory. Goodbye, Train Spotting. And that one. I can't, Jimmy, we can't throw that one out. It's just a book. But it's the Illuminatus trilogy, Gimpo. It's everything, it's our guide. Oh, give it here. God, oh no! Oh, God, Jimmy! Yeah, but maybe it's a good thing. Maybe we don't need it anymore, Bill. It's brought us to this place. It's served its purpose. Now we're seeing the world from the top, like you wanted. Maybe you're right. It's not enough. There's nothing else. The other suitcases. We can't throw out a million quid. We're about to burn it. But that's heroic. And this is an emergency. I'll go instead. I'll sacrifice myself for art. I saw the world from the top and it was good. While Bill, in 1994, is on the brink of suicide, Bill, in 1993, is on TV as he and Jimmy look for a fight in the art world with their new TV advertising campaign. We are the K Foundation, formerly known as KLF. On the 23rd of November 1993, the same night as the Turner Prize, we will award £40,000 in cash to the artist who has produced the worst body of work in the last 12 months. Shortlisted artists are, coincidentally, the same as the Turner Prize nominees. Rachel Whiteread, Sean Scully, Bong Pow Panet and Hannah Collins. We are changing the history of art, so those people who think contemporary art is crap feel vindicated. Welcome to Operation Mindfuck. According to the Illuminatus trilogy, Operation Mindfuck is... Hey, Operation Mindfuck is... Hey, where's the voice of the book? Hey, it was gone. It's gone since the book got thrown out of the aeroplane. Oh, right. So, anyway, uh, basically, Operation Mindfuck is causing trouble through guerrilla art to attack the Illuminati. But Bill and Jimmy have now done Operation Double Mindfuck and ended up supporting the Illuminati when Tower Hamlet's council hear that the worst art award could go to a sculpture in their borough. All those in favour of demolishing Rachel Whiteread's house sculpture, say aye. 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 The ayes have it. And the winner of this Turner Prize 1993 is... Rachel Whiteread for House. Uh, well done, Rachel. You've won our Worst Artist of the Year award. We're outside the Tate. We've got your 40k. I don't want it. Uh, we'll burn it then. Not really. That's appalling. 40k could go to some struggling art student. Uh, well, without struggle, they wouldn't be artists. Poverty is part of the process. Try telling that to Lucy and Freud. Picasso, Dali, all trust fun boys. She'll come. She's not coming. Right, pack the money up, she's not coming. Well, I wouldn't come if I were her. Yeah, you would. You can keep away from the cash. Have you seen the out sculpture? Yeah, it's okay. Tell Ramlet's council are demolishing it as we speak. Best thing for it. Councillor doing her a favour. 
destroy it. Gives it a myth. I think you two are just bitter. You thought you could buy your way into the art world. I think House is a masterpiece. It's way more complicated than just nailing a load of cash to a board. Shut up, Gempo. Who do you think you are, Brian Sewell? You just don't like me expressing myself beyond my lower status, especially if I connect with the beauty and emotional power of art. I should smack both your heads in. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Am I interrupting, guys? Rachel, you came. I didn't want you to burn it. We would have done. Honestly. Well, here you go. 40k for the worst artist of the year. Right, so... What an honour. OK, bye. Uh, that, that sounded a little sarcastic, Rachel. A bit hypocritical, considering that you turned up. My far stronger artists wouldn't have bothered. I hope you're coming back. Actually, yes, I am being sarcastic. I used to like the KLF. But this makes you look like a couple of assholes who don't care about anything except themselves. I'm going to give this money to ten struggling artists. Yes, the capitalists control art, like they do everything, but if we don't at least try to help one another, what kind of world are we striving for? She's got a point. Talk off, Gimple! It did make us look a bit shit. Yeah, vindictive. We were discontented bastards before, and now we're even more discontented. <laughs> it was funny you threatening to burn the money. She believed you. Imagine it. Have you ever burnt money in real life? Never. Should we give it a go? No! It's wrong! Come on, Bill, don't be tight. Give us a tenner. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You got another one. Twenty. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, how can you do that? That would have paid for a meal at Pizza Express. I don't care. It's the ultimate punk gesture. Excuse me, we were just watching you from that table. Is that real money? Are you actually burning money? Yeah, yeah, isn't it? It's magical. No, it's the worst thing you could do. It's disgusting. Hey, mate, did you just burn a £20 note? And a tenner. You're sick in the head. There's kids dying in Africa, and you yuppies coming here burning cash. I know. Isn't it glorious? See if you think this is glorious. Oh. Hey! Oh! Oh! Hey, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was amazing. Their reaction. Burning money is more shocking than anything Emin Hurst or the Chapman brothers could come up with. I can't imagine if we did really burn a million quid. It would be so jam, so KLF. Oh, no. No? No, I mean, no, no, as in yes, it's exactly what KLF would do. Mm. The public will go crazy, we could do our bank site, get loads of press. Stop thinking about PR, Bill. It's about truthfully getting rid of the money, not a cynical investment in the future. OK, yes, yes, not a cheap stunt to achieve immortality, but a magical ritual that will shake up the art industry finance every industry. It will quake the very foundations of the Illuminati. Create chaos. Everything we read about in the Illuminati's trilogy has come to this! <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is the largest treehouse I've ever been in. Well, I thought since it's our anniversary. The view's amazing across the canopy. <gasps> Look at this bathroom! There's a jacuzzi. Oh, it's perfect. I love you. Oh, I, I love you too. Let's try the bed. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to run something past you. Tell me over here. OK. <laughs> Give me a cuddle. <sighs> <sighs> this is lovely. Oh. <laughs> so, what did you want to talk about? Uh, well, Jimmy and I 
could have guessed that we couldn't have a romantic weekend away without Jimmy coming into it. <laughs> well, we've been knocking around a, a few ideas for new projects. Well, well no, no, one idea in particular. We're very excited about this one. Is it going to be like the Time Lords? Or another of your art ones? Kind of, but this is really, it's, it's, it's a work of art. Don't you want me to buy you some oil paints for your birthday? <laughs> it's more conceptual. So, what's the concept? We're going to, uh, well, burn uh, a million quid. What? Ow! Burn! As you could imagine, as Jimmy and Bill broke the news of their provocative art piece to the nearest and dearest, they were confronted with some dramatic responses. We've only just moved out of a squat. Oh, that's it. Where are you going, Cam? Manhattan. I need some space. But money's the root of all evil. That's what you used to say. Oh, I shouldn't have put that thought in your head. You're a family man, Bill. You've got responsibilities. You didn't have money when I was a kid and it was fine. I'm going to do it, Dad. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Here's your mother. You've really upset him, Bill. It's not good for his heart. It's only money. But God has given you this money to do good things. Burning it is not going to make God happy. <gasps> eh, it's Dr Brown here, William. Uh, your mother asked me to give you a call. She thinks you should come in for a wee assessment. I feel fine. Hey, but burning all that money does indicate a somewhat disturbed mental state. Are you hearing any voices, son? Uh, does this count? Are objects or animals speaking to you? There was this salmon once. Pardon? And a hare. An arctic one. Hello? Is that Jimmy? Yeah, who's that? It's Mel. Mel who? We met at the garage. Christmas 1990. I was in the purple unitard. You said it was the best float you'd ever had. Oh, yeah, 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 I do remember. I love you, Jimmy. You're gorgeous. A friend of a friend said you're going to burn a million quid. But the thing is, my house is going to be repossessed, and I just thought maybe you had a spare 20 grand. I could just use it. <laughs> It's Kylie. We met once backstage at Top of the Box. Oh, oh yeah, hi. <laughs> Mate, I was wondering if you'd make a donation to my AIDS charity. Ah. Uh, Barry, I'm still busy. No, but mate, Grant will pay for the penis removal and the construction of a rudimentary vagina. Things continued in this vein for six months while they reflected on the deed to dare to destroy the capitalist god Mammon. OK, boys. Start pumping the concrete. Rachel! I'm in the kitchen! Start with the kitchen. Help! Stop! I'm stuck! I'm drowning! Help! Oh. 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 I was having the most awful nightmares. At least you can sleep. It's oh. killing me. I feel like I'm on death row or something. Death row is really stressful. We're gonna do it. We need to do it. Now. Jimmy and Bill prized the money off the MDF and booked a light aircraft. Which brings us pretty much up to date in the Cessna heading for Jura. And Bill about to eject. Oh, the airport! Jump! Okay, you don't need to jump. Oh! Betty! 